hello guys welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys are doing well so in today's video we are going to discuss uh, topmost ask object oriented programming questions in uh, the technical interview okay so this video is for the people who have uh, experience in it industry as well as for the student who are working as uh, phrasers or the people who want to join the it industry right so because this is the key thing which every interview uh, you are going to face okay so without wasting any time let's go to the first question but before going to the first question if you have not subscribed my channel and if this kind of content are helping you then please do subscribe it and share the content with uh, your friends okay so the first question says what is encapsulation right so encapsulation is a process of binding the data and member uh, function into single unit okay so whenever you can think of a class a class is comprises of two things data member as well as the uh, methods or function you can say right so binding of both these things together is called encapsulation so it's kind of a capsule okay where both the things stays let's go to the next question it says what are abstraction so abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation detail and displaying the essential features okay kehne ka matlab ki mujhe back end mein kya ho raha hai wo show nahi karna hai theek hai let's say for an example of uh, mobile phone right whenever you are typing something you don't know what what is happening inside it right what is happening uh, with the software and all so that is what so this is the ui okay so this is kind of abstraction so this is the essential feature which we are going to show it to the user otherwise the back end logic okay those are called encapsulation that we already have discussed we are not going to show this logic to the uh, end user so that is what we call abstraction let's go to the next question it says what are the access specifier in c sharp okay so access specifier is used for writing the classes as well as the methods okay so if you see we have public private protected internal and protected internal five type of access uh, specifier agar hum baat kare access label pe theek hai to agar hum private ki baat kare right so in private what happen whenever you have uh, any class declared as private or any method declared as private right so you will be able to access that method from the base class from derived class you will not be able to access that method right so this is what we have explained here in case of public since it is public you will be able to access it from anywhere either from the base class derived class or outside the library okay so outside the library means uh, you you have gone to a different project and there you are uh, importing this project okay so there also if the method is public you will be able to access it okay so that is what we have access specifier in c sharp let's go to the next question it says what are inheritance is multiple inheritance possible in c sharp okay. inheritance is a process of deriving the new class from already existing class okay it's something like inheriting the feature okay so let's say this is your base class or you can say it's a parent class okay so parent class has two property name and display okay and this is something we are creating now so dog so dog is a new class or you can say derived class or you can say it's a child class so we can inherit uh, this dog from this animal okay so all the property of this animal class we can directly use it by calling this dog class because it is inheriting this animal class okay so in c sharp we have this this many type of inheritance we have uh, single inheritance okay single inheritance means we have only one class to inherit the details okay so let's say you have a base class okay so you are going to inherit the features of a parent class so we have a single parent so that is what we called uh, single inheritance so what is hierarchical inheritance hierarchical inheritance means uh, we have one parent class and we can have multiple child class okay so the feature of parent class can be inherited by so many child classes this is what hierarchical inheritance is multiple inheritance means we have one base class or one child class and it is going to inherit the property of more than one parent class okay so women and man is uh, are this two parent classes or base classes and this is nancy is a derived class okay then we have multi level inheritance multi level inheritance means uh, we have inheritance uh, level by level okay so in this case if you see tutor is a base class okay then we have a computer science tutor okay so computer science tu tutor is uh, going to inherit the property of a tutor and then we have a c sharp tutor so c sharp tutor is going to inherit the property of a computer science tutor okay so this is a multi level inheritance so coming to this question is multiple inheritance possible in c sharp yes it is possible but not with the class but with the help of interface it is possible okay let's go to the next question 
okay so it says what is polymorphism polymorphism from name itself it says polyforms means many forms okay so what does it mean is uh, when a message can be processed in a different ways it is called polymorphism polymorphism means many forms okay so in simple you can see here so you have a vehicle okay vehicle is a one thing okay but vehicle can have many forms it can be a two wheeler vehicle it can be a three wheeler it can be a four wheeler right so this is called polymorphism concept okay if you see this uh, polymorphism can be of two types uh, the runtime polymorphism as well as the compile time polymorphism okay so compile time polymorphism is a called uh, static polymorphism okay so here we have two types function overloading as well as operator overloading runtime polymorphism we have one type that is called method overriding okay so if you have not seen the difference between method overloading and method overriding you can see other videos of mine which is uh, there in the playlist of interview question and answer let's go to the next question okay it says what is method overloading and why do we use it okay so when we want to create multiple methods in a class with the same name but with a different parameters okay so for an example if you see we have all these methods in a class having the same name print only thing we are uh, differentiating here is the parameter so we are passing a string here we are passing integer here we are passing a string and integer here right so the behavior of the method can be different but the name will be same so this is what we call method overloading let's go to the next question it says a water constructor and water types okay so constructor is a special method of the class that will be automatically invoked when an instance of the class is created the main use of constructor is to initialize private field of the class while creating the instance of a class so this is your class and this is what we call constructor okay so this is a parameterized constructor because we are passing the parameter okay so the main use of this constructor is to initialize this variable when we create the instance of this class okay so these are the type of constructor we have so if any interviewer ask you what are the type of constructor you can say all this type of constructor is default constructor parameterized constructor copy constructor static constructor and private constructor okay let's go to the next question it says why do we implement a constructor as private okay so uh, as we already discussed we have different types of constructor in c sharp okay so uh, we enable a constructor as a private because of so many reasons so first of the reason is obvious like uh, if you want the object creation of a class to be stopped okay in that case we want the private constructor because if the constructor itself is a private you will not be able to create the object of a class okay the second thing uh, the private constructor is used in singleton class okay we'll discuss what is singleton class in later slides then third is it is used to stop a class to be inherited okay so whenever you are using a class okay whenever you are trying to inherit a base class into a derived class and base class has the private constructor then you will not be able to inherit that class okay so this is the example we do have this class and this is a private constructor okay so if you try to create the instance of this class okay this is throwing the error it is inaccessible due to its protection level so you will not be able to create the object of this particular class who has the private constructor let's go to the next question it says what is destructor in c sharp so it is just opposite of constructor okay so d structure cannot be called they are invoked automatically an instance become eligible for destruction when it is no longer possible for any code to use the instance okay the programmer has no control over when destructor is called because this is determined by the garbage collector okay so as you all know that we do have a garbage collector in uh, .NET or C sharp okay so whenever the uh, scope of an object is over whenever the object is not in use the garbage collector will call the finalize method internally and it will release those resources okay so how it is happen so destructor is going to call that garbage collection okay it's basically the uh, syntax of class having their destructor okay let's go to the next question it says why do we use interface okay so as we already discussed right uh, abstraction feature so it is similar to the abstraction feature but not exactly the same okay so we need interface to extend the program okay so when we want to hide the implementation in that case also we'll be using interface okay and uh, if you want to access the object if you want to access the method okay so you can use the interface okay and it provides you the loose couple of the code okay so this is 
one of the interface I have inside this I employee repository interface we do have a method okay which is going to call the list of employee okay but we don't know what is the logic it is using until and unless you go to the class which is implementing this method so this is the class which is inheriting this I employee repository or interface okay so if you see this is the actual implementation right so if you if you show someone that uh, this interface only they will not be knowing what exactly happening in the background but they will be able to use the feature right so this is what uh, interface is used for we can hide the implementation also so let's go to the next question it says can abstract class be sealed in c sharp okay so no abstract class cannot be sealed class okay so sealed is an access a modifier okay so like private uh, protected you can use sealed also so because the sealed modifier prevent a class from being inherited and the abstract modifier require a class to be inherited okay so if you see here this is our class which is inheriting this base employee which is nothing but a abstract class okay so if you write abstract sealed class base employee it is not it will not be able to inherit this base employee so that is the only reason we do not declare abstract class with a sealed access modifier okay so let's go to the next question it says what are design pattern and what are it types okay so i will not be able to discuss the entire design patterns okay i'm going to discuss what is design pattern probably i can come up with a detailed video on design pattern in uh, coming sessions so design pattern is a reusable solution to common software design problem that occurs repeatedly in a real world application development okay let's say you join some software organization you land into some project okay then you are going to face a different different problems okay so the solution of all those problems is to go with the design patterns okay so you will have to implement some of these design patterns in your project so mostly like uh, if, if you heard people like they have implemented this singleton design pattern this factory method adapter all these things okay so we do have three kind of design patterns exist the first one is creational design pattern the second is a structural design pattern and third is behavioral design pattern okay so in creational design pattern we have five types of design pattern factory abstract factory builder prototype singleton in a structural design pattern we have uh, seven types adapter breeze composite uh, decorator facet flyweight and pro proxy similar to this we do have a behavioral design pattern so here we have this much of design patterns okay so let's go to the next question let's see what is singleton design pattern okay so it is a creational design pattern which ensures that only one object of its kind exists and provide a single point of access for any other code okay singleton has almost the same pros and cons as global variable okay so let me tell you what happened okay so let's say you have some logic which you want to use it for the entire project or entire uh, class okay all the classes you are using that xyz logic okay so instead of implementing that logic at 10 different places what we do is we create a singleton class we implement that logic there in that class and we access the instance there in the different different classes okay so this will like uh, uh, enable us to write less code and use the same feature okay so this is how we'll be creating a singleton class you will have to use the sealed access modifiers so that no one can inherit this okay and no one can change the instance of this uh, singleton class so there is a possibility that if someone wants to change the feature of the singleton class they will try to but they cannot because we do have a sealed access uh, sealed class so the object cannot be created that we already have discussed right and you need to use the private constructor in case of singleton class okay and then you are going to create the instance and then you will be populating that instance okay so this is a kind of this is kind of not the thread safe singleton so you have thread safe singleton also where you will be using lock okay so this is how the singleton design pattern is implemented let's go to the next question it says what is the difference between a static class and a singleton class okay so a static class cannot implement an interface however a singleton class needs to implement an interface either for a business reason or ioc purpose okay so you can use the singleton pattern without a static class okay the second difference is we can clone the object of singleton but you cannot clone the object of a static class okay the third is singleton object store in heap but a static object store in a stack 
A singleton class can be initialized asynchronously while a static class is generally initialized when it's a first loaded. Okay, so these are the differences which you can tell it to the interviewer. Let's go to the next question. It says, What is the use of I disposable interface? Okay, so this interface is useful. Okay, when you want to clean up the unmanaged resource. The unmanaged resource means we do have database connection sockets which are not in use anymore okay so these are the top 15 questions you can expect in any of the oops interview question that is security like uh, you will be getting 90 percent of this question in your interview okay so we'll meet up in the next video but until then bye bye take care